and uh, but I have no doubt it's probably going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to dig in. Had a big workout. You probably look at how freaking jacked I am in my feeding time. Shirt available on feedmemore.com along with a lot of other new merchandise, new Ryback shirts. Feeding time. Yo, welcome to feeding time. The big guy Ryback in my backyard here in Sin City. It is, uh, I was going to do it over by the pool. You can't really see back there. The sun today was 114 degrees. It's probably like 106 or 107 degrees right now. So I'm at least on the back, back porch. A little covered. I'm already sweating. Just, uh, from being over there and trying to get a photo and uh the sun there was no good angle uh without the the glare of the just just intense sun so a little different view than, than normal here uh today i'm already kind of a little upset i, I i'm doing evil pie i got a deep dish vegan uh vegan meat pizza with black olives and mushrooms get your eyes on that I was uh, I was expecting for a bit more I got a pizza from them last time while last year was enormous and this was 60 came to 60 something dollars after the tip and everything so it was, it was an expensive pizza and I uh, it, it better be damn good that's all I'm going to say it was, uh, and that's going to affect the rating at the end. I, I don't, I'm not, uh, you got to have a little bit more reasonable prices. And, uh, but I have no doubt it's probably going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to dig in. Had a big workout. You probably look at how freaking jacked I am in my feeding time. Shirt available on feedmemore.com along with a lot of other new merchandise, new Ryback shirts. We're gonna be doing a lot of different designs on there, not just wrestling stuff. Like there's gonna be like only games, meet me at the bar. There's a protein shake shirt. There's a, I, I violate community guidelines. A lot more like internet um, related shirts and stuff as well. We're gonna be, be trying some of those out as well. It's feeding time. I don't even know. I'm sitting here on the damn chair over here. I don't, is it stuck to the dam? All right, we've got a little slice here. It's cut in one, two, three, six, six deep dish pieces here. Vegan mozzarella. Uh, there's parsley, olives, mushrooms, and vegan beef. What the fuck? Why is it like that? All right, that piece is all right. Oh, this, is, this might be the worst review ever. The worst rating. But this part is good. Mm. It's that noise when I'm chewing it. Oh, this is horrible. It's like it's crystallized or something. Look at that. Still gonna eat it. I'm starving. I'm always hungry. Oh, evil pie, you made this is not the pizza. This was not the time to screw up. It's like super chewy. Oh, I better not get food poisoning. I will go down there. I will shell shock Evil Knievel out of the grave. It's an Evil Knievel place. Evil Knievel family business. I'll shell shock him on his damn bike. I'll shell shock the whole damn family. Five, six, seven, eight, stack them with the bike.
why is this stuck? This is, oh, I think this is gonna, this is really, really ticking the big guy off. Wow. Can't even buy into it. Gonna have to eat around on the crust. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I can hear it. Oh, this is messy too. It makes a squeaking noise, like it's alive. This sucks because it's really, it does taste good, but the, 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 the crust, it's the absolute shit shoots. Trying not to cuss, I think I already dropped an F-bomb on here. <clears throat> Finish it, Cotton Candy BCAAs, feedmemore.com. What in the blue hell is wrong with the damn crop? That can't be good. It literally, like, it's like crystallized. Did they give me, like, bad dough? Oh, I'm telling you, Evil Pie, if I get sick on this and it's documented, big guy's coming down there. That 2% Jew in me is going to commit to doing the video. I will say, though, it is, with it being deep, deep dish, <clears throat> I could tell it could be, it could be filling, but the damn crust is really... Like, can, I, can you tell? Ah, shoot. I got marinara on the furniture. Okay, that one was a little easier to buy. It's still horrible, but... Watching me, thinking this guy is insane. So the outer, even though the outer part's the squeaky part, but it, it's easier to chew. I'll get that off. Makes it harder to talk. That's the real downfall of this. I know you guys all tune in to hear what I have to say. I saw there was a thing. You see, every week it's just something different, right? If you're like on Twitter on the this week or the, the, the past week, it was body shaming, what, Eddie Kingston? It's like every week it's just something different. With like, and the thing is, I say it's the same group of people, but it's the same group, the same group, like with the same mindset. And they all have the things that they love and the things they hate, but they attack the things they hate in a, in a very similar pattern. That's why I just say block and smash and keep going forward. You can never, you'll never be able to change their mindset. They don't have the, the intelligence to, to, to one, even, even have a discussion on it. And, and they, and what, everyone can have their opinion, right? It's just very hateful, negative. They say things, block, smash, just keep going forward. The people that like you, like you. The ones that don't, you just block them. 
because it's like, but it's like always something with like, and it's not just wrestling, but it's the wrestling fans, you see that stuff. Every week they complain about something different, something else that doesn't involve them, you know, <clears throat> but I've always said the body type in wrestling, there's not everyone, one has the genetics to look the same. As long as you can perform and perform safely, endurance isn't a factor, and, and you have the strength to do the things that you need to do and for your style, all body types work. Now, like, if it's an issue and you don't take care of yourself and you're you're blown up and you're, you're dangerous, you know what I mean, and those sorts of things, like, then, then there's an issue. But... You'll never stop the people from complaining and being like that get that vocal and they, they can find each other on social media and gang up on people. You just block, keep moving forward. You're never gonna change the culture or the mindset unless they decide to at some point down the line. But those are the same people that are attacking him this week, Jericho the next week, attacking somebody else for something entirely completely different the following week. And you just gotta realize like, let them be miserable, keep complaining, and just shut them out. Best thing you can do is block them and shut them out. And I highly encourage you guys, and this is what I... Click on their profiles sometimes and take a look at what these people look like. You'll never get upset when you, after you put it... Like, when you see, you'll just be like, okay. It take, completely takes away the power. And it's always the same. There's just too much good. You just but that, that comes. You got to build self-esteem and confidence, and just realize I'm not even. You're not worth my time. No hate. You're just not worth my time. Get out of here. Block. Go. Go bother somebody else. I know. I, I'll get people too that. You just block people. You'll never. You won't even have a formal discussion. Yeah, I know the truth on things on what I'm dealing with. That you don't. I'm not going to waste my time out of my day to try to convince a factory line of you, stupid people. Block. Go bother somebody else. You want to have a conversation when they talk to my action figure, you little biatch. <laughs> I know you got one or twenty. I saw the Jordan Grace. I talked about it. Was it Jordan Gracie or Jordan Grace? Made comments about Benoit. I saw, I talked about it on the Ryback show. And then a day or two later, I saw she actually had a conversation with David Benoit, who I talked about on that. And Paul, she apologized for her comments, which, good. We'll leave it at that. I'm glad she at least talked to David. He's a very good kid. Good person. It bothers me because I like I can only imagine because I know how that those people are that we just talked about. Those are the same people that will attack him. Can you imagine? I feel for him. I I would love to see him get into wrestling. The other part. Man, I think he'd be so much happier not doing it and just living a fulfilled life. And it's up to him, ultimately, what he wants to do. But just the the, the toxic negativity, like, unless... And he seems like he's got it together. He's already overcome so much, right? But, like, the just toxic negativity and stuff. You just got to... As long as you have a good support, but you're never going to not hear it. And then, like, stuff like that happens from people in the business. You're just like, come on. I talk about it on the Ryback show, though, more. Check it out. But the guy that was telling me that I wouldn't have a discussion was about my restricted Twitter account that they've already admitted and sent over that it is restricted and closed 21 cases and won't answer questions. But I'm... I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I don't know anything. 
I don't know anything going on with my legal situation. I don't know everything that I've dealt with the last six plus years. And he wants me to take time out of my day to try to convince him. I've already posted this stuff. You don't believe it, don't believe it. Leave me alone, you're gone. But those are, that's like, the lesson in this is you never let people stop you when you know what you're doing and you have a goal and what you're working towards, which I'd have and I've won everything and I'm gonna to continue to win everything and everything I've said has been 100% true. You're seeing this stuff with Vince and I'm telling you, the real stuff hasn't even come out yet. And it goes so deep, so deep. And I've sat on some things because it's not my place to say on this. And it, it, I've, I've had to bite my tongue a few times and like, there's so much more. And they're gonna to have to wash a good part of that company. You're gonna see so many people were aware of so many things that have taken place and uh, it's not good. It is not good. And if you think and if you're defending it and like, you're out of your mind, out of your mind. But I got people messaging saying they're sorry for thinking I was crazy, I block them. Don't message me and tell me that. Don't message me and say, oh, you didn't believe me. And then now, oh, now you want to hop up. Nope, block, I don't need you. I don't need you. Get lost. The loyal people, the, I know who you are that have stuck through with all this BS and you've seen a lot of it. The rest of you, I don't care. Don't care. Truth always wins, though, even if it takes time. It always wins. And the truth is, this crust is the worst crust I've ever had in the history of my life in pizza. This is going to be the lowest. Damn birds! Birds are always shitting on my gorilla and on my on my pool on the waterfall. They drink a little, they drink the water. And it's not good. They're not, it, it, the pool's chlorinated, salt water. Also, there's both, but very low levels. They love drinking the water over there, though. And they also love shitting all over. I gotta hose it off every week. Just leave it, let them just sit in their own shit. Oh, cussing again. The final slice. I'd like to see a guy with a pizza gimmick. The name of his finisher is the final slice. That would be my goal if I was in creative. Every week I would pitch the pizza man. Try to figure out. I try to figure out a, a clever name. For a, for a pizza gimmick. Show up in the diva's locker room with the pizza, kind of like the movies. Really inappropriate stuff, really pushing it. Pizza Pete. Pizza Pete. Pizza Pete or Pete Pizza. Pizza Pete. We'd build him up. He wouldn't even have his name right away. He'd just be Pete. Just Pete. Maybe Peter to start him. And then we'd change it to Pizza Pete. But he'd, he would debut in catering as, as just Pete. And like, there's Pete again, just having enjoying a slice of pizza. And then eventually it happens enough. And then, then, and then the, the name Pizza Pete just sticks. First programs with Otis. Otis eats his pizza. You don't, you don't mess with pizza. Pizza, pizza. Story writes itself. Classic, classic story. Everyone can relate to it. Nobody likes anyone stealing their pizza. Maybe this, this absolutely horrendous. I don't even know what happened to this crust. I have a feeling it was probably sitting this gluten-free dough 
was gluten free too, which I didn't care about, but it said it, so I got it. It's probably, they don't probably sell a lot of it and it went bad and I'm eating it. But I have like a machine when it comes to like getting this stuff, but if I get food poisoning, you got to talk. It's like sticky too. For Susa. Done. I will say before I get to the review, my shoulder also, I've been with the hammer strength machine on the incline press and the flat back hammer strength, the little handlebar, and I've ta talked about this before, it gets under my scapula like un unlike anything else. <clears throat> and I've been ripping it all the way down, my all the way down, kind of near the, the rhomboids and into the scapula on that side, all the way down and around, all the way to the other side. I've been ripping off the, it's like the, the tissue stuck to the scapula and it like pops and cracks off of it. I'm able to move the weight as fluid as I've been able to since all of this has happened. And my shoulder's not grinding because the scapula is starting to move more and more. I still got more. I'm going to be doing it four, three to four times a week, really hard in there. I was on it for in between sets, probably 30, 40 minutes, excuse me today on top of all my, the ball and the hanging that I'm doing. So this is all timed out really well. And uh, I just got to stay consistent and keep doing what I'm doing. And um, I thank you guys for patience. I get some people, they say, you're never going to do it. You're never going to do it. You're never going to, I know what I'm going to do. Take care of business. And it's all timed out. I've always been protected and you're going to see, and I've been allowed to prove this and it's taken a long time. But I hope you guys can get something from this that you don't give up. You don't listen to the detractors and negative people. Anyone, you just, when you know something, you know it and you keep putting in the work day in and day out. A lot of times people don't see that stuff. It doesn't matter. You keep doing it because you know what you're working towards and you keep a positive mental attitude more often than not. And I'm telling you, it works. And not to say it's going to work 100% of the time, but it puts you in a position to succeed more often than not. If I would have given up three years ago, four years ago, two years ago, here, fat and overweight, just give up because they want me to give up, right? Oh, you're right. No, I'm coming back bigger, better than ever. And I'm going to put myself an opportunity and the world and karma and everything else is making itself right. And you're seeing it. You're seeing it. And I'm not an angel. I'm not perfect. But you're seeing it. I've been honest about all this goddamn stuff. And you're going to see it. All right. The evil pie gluten-free vegan deep dish beef mushroom and olive pizza i'm giving that i'm giving that a a four out of ten worst review worst score i've ever given anything on this channel for two reasons one the crust was the absolute trash that crust was not good evil pie you should be ashamed of yourselves for putting out that pizza especially for a guy that's done food reviews and gave you a really good score before you had to have known that that was bad that that's that's no no good absolutely horrendous and uh and then also on top of it for for the price for that small of a pie charging man just bad business in my opinion on that and I, this has been you guys have seen i am overwhelmingly the only other thing that was the mcrib that was and i still gave that a decent review is but at least that was it wasn't rotten like the damn crust on this so four four out of ten and, and that's lucky to even get that that was, and all the other ingredients were fine, but Matt, taking that all into account, that, that, that chaps the big guy's ass a little bit, that that's what I got for this. And uh, it is what it is. So, evil pie do better. The other one was great, this one wasn't. Far from it, so. Uh, other than that, guys, check out Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. You can save 20% with discount code feeding time 20 feeding time two zero 
Also got all the Ryback merch. We've got a lot of new shirts getting added. The new website just went through the final edits today. Any day, any day this site is going to be up. And it's going to be, we're going to have a lot of new merch and different things and, and tied into social media stuff as well with everything with Feed Me More Nutrition and, and all the other stuff. And then we've got all the classic Ryback, Ryback stuff. Also, we've got a new Feed Me More uh, Wake Up. It's feeding time alarm with the sirens going off with me saying, wake up. It's feeding time. That's available on the website for download and MP3 as well. It's $1.99 if you put the discount in. Very affordable. And that's the same price as other like alarm things online. But a lot of people say, oh, we want, I want the alarm with you saying that because I've done a couple videos with it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, that's easy to do. We'll, we make it available for you guys. So check that out. I appreciate all your love and support as always. And uh, other than that, guys, until we feed again. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Hey, right back. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash that subscribe and shell shock those notifications. For the best stuff in the world of planet, feed me more nutrition, and all the latest cool new Ryback merch, visit feedmemore.com.